Hey guys, I am here at Winchester Bay uh, for Dune Fest, and I met up with the UTV Obsessions guys, and uh, this is Seth Nunez, and that is his X3. Let's get into the breakdown. This is my 2017 Can-Am X3. It started out as an XDS 64 inch car. We started out by taking all of our body pieces off and had them painted a pearl white OEM color. Um, after that, we started off with uh, just doing a three stage prismatic powders, illusion cherry with a super chrome base. After that, we started into doing wheels, tires, um, started working on the performance upgrades for it. Uh, as you can see in the front here, we have a CT Raceworks full gusset kit and bulkhead. We smoked out the lights and the signature lights uh, with our in-house paint deal. Shocks were our stock, but with uh, stock springs, we have this thing set pretty low for some racing. Rigid lights in the front for our pods. Um, and then paired with that, we have the SS Fab, Chrome Molly TIG welded cage. Super low profile. When I was looking for a cage, I wanted something that was light, sleek, looked really good. SS Fab was the one that I decided to choose and I've been absolutely stoked on it. It's got the windshield upgrade. If you look in the front here, we have our custom UTV Obsessions grill inserts. Uh, as you can see, we got a couple other options here in the front. Uh, we got the upgraded tie rods from uh, Salt Industries powder coated to match the wheels. Um, as far as the wheel setup, we have in the front 15 by nine Packards and the rears are 15, 11. These are the V2 Superstars. I took them apart and had them custom powder coat on the barrels to match the rest of the powder coat with the cage and the suspension. Tire wise, what we're running on this guy, we are running the 34 inch Rogue Sand Tire. They call it the Tall Paddle. Um, it's a uh, pretty aggressive tire. Um, I've been really happy with it. These are a 16 paddle. Plenty of hook, you know, point and shoot wherever you want to go. Uh, we've been really happy with those. Paint, we had a pair with Dune Gear billet washers throughout the body and the interior of the car. We are running the Starlight LED whips, um, four foot. We've, over here in the Oregon Dunes, we have a lot of tree branches uh, and tends to hit on the tree branches. So these have been awesome for us. They don't break, they last a long time. Um, and take the beating that we give these two. Starting in the back here, uh, as you can see, the bed has been since removed. This is a Evo Power Sports bed delete kit. Paired with that, we got rid of the stock intake. We went with a aftermarket Assassin's cold air intake with their R2C filter that is serviceable. Next to that, we have our Trio Performance upgraded intercooler. Um, we have their exhaust paired with this as well. The Packard intake charge tube and blow off valve, Packard billet intake plenum. Uh, we have a Zana XR42 turbo. Going into the motor section here, uh, we have injector dynamics, fuel re uh, regulator. We have a four innervations uh, fuel filter. Also, all the lines have been converted to BMRS and AN fitting with a billet ZRP fuel rail. Uh, injector dynamics, 1600 injectors are in this guy. Um, we have the upgraded turbo and manifold from X Zana. And also on this setup, we do have head studs in it. Uh, it's a relatively stock motor, but for what we're kind of doing on this thing, we're sitting right at three to 320 to the wheel. So not needed for a full motor build, but still fun, reliable car, um, has the capability of being turned up. Down low, we have the Super ATV radius rods and also paired with an aftermarket pull plate. I also have the shock therapy tow link support kit for the rear hubs. Um, as far as our clutching wise, we got STM Rage 4 and a tuner secondary. We are running the Trinity World's Best Belt. And as far as the weights for the primary, we got a bunch of weight thrown in the in the heel. It also is paired with a Ibex secondary guard. Um, if you ever seem to blow a belt or you have a problem with the secondary, a lot of times those seals can uh, blow out on those. So we have an upgraded Ibex setup for that. And we are running a Motul oil in this car and it just runs like a champ. 
For tuning on this car, we are running the Mtron standalone ECU system. Uh, it's a full standalone setup that you can do all remote tuning. You can, uh, if you got a tuner that is not local to you, they can actually team view and help you tune your car if you're having issues. Uh, we've been really happy with it. Paired with that uh, Mtron, we have all of our innovative AFR gauge uh, tied into the car for watching all of our uh, air fuel ratio on the car, making sure we're in check, not le too lean or not too fat. Uh, we have that all running for our injector dynamics, uh, injectors and fuel system, and uh, everything works in unison together. For interior of the car, starting out, we have the Madigan doors. These are a full uh, aftermarket frame and skin for the door. Obviously had the skins powder coated the same uh, three stage prismatic powders as the rest of the car. Uh, skins were painted the pearl white. Um, we also, we went a little extra step on this inside the car. Um, I had everything interior wise taken apart. Uh, paint matched the rest of the exterior of the car. We even took the gauge cluster apart. Um, painted the inside trimmings on that. As far as the sitting in the cockpit there, we got the Evo Power Sports intercooler fan override switch. So you can manually set um, on your switch for on off. So you're not worried about it kicking on at a certain temp when it's already too hot. So we have our Assault Industries uh, Navigator steering wheel in suede. Took the finished plates off of it, had them powder coated and painted to match. So we also have launch control set up in this car. Stock seats for right now, um, but as far as interior wise, all paint match, done, ready to go. Um, nice comfy cockpit. This is my K&M X3 UTV Obsessions build breakdown. You can find all these parts and more at utvobsessions.com.